another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well today we're gonna solve the problem product of array except self so let's get started by reading the problem given an integer array nums return an array n square such that n square at index i is equal to the product of all the elements of nums except nums at index i the product of n prefix or suffix of nums is guaranteed to fit in a 32 bit integer you must write an algorithm that runs an o of n time and without using the division operation so the condition for solving this problem is that the algorithm must runs an o of n times and we can not use the division operation for example we have this input list one two three and four so how we go about solving this problem first the product of array except self means that we're gonna multiply all the numbers inside the list except the current number that we are at for example if we are at the first number which is one so we multiply two and three and four so the way we're gonna solve it is by taking the product to the left and the product to the right of the current number then we're gonna create an output array product that have the same length of the input array and initialize its value to one then we're gonna multiply from the left and then multiply from the right so the multiplication from the left gonna start from one so what's the product to the left of one is one so one multiply by one and what's the product to the left of two is one so one times one also is one and we continue what's the left product of three so it's two so two times one what's the product to the left of four so it's three so three times two so it's six so the product of array except self by multiplying from left gonna be one one two and six so now we start multiplying from the right the right product of one is two times three times four which is 24 and 24 multiplied by one is 24 the right product of two is three times four which is 12 and 12 multiplied by one is 12 the right product of three is four and four times two is eight so the right product Product of 4 is 1, so 1 multiplied by 6 is 6. So the final output array of product is 24, 12, 8, and 6. Now let's look at the code. The first thing we're gonna do is to create an array product and initialize its value to 1. After that, we declare a variable called product equal to 1. And then we're gonna start traversing the input array until the end. So for every index i, update the product r at index i index to I be the product by r product and update the product to be to be equal to product multiplied by the current number. And once we multiply from the left, we're going to receive the product to 1 again. And then we're going to start multiplying from the right and traverse the array from the last index to the start. So for every index i, update the product r at index i to product r at index i multiplied by the product. And then update the product to be equal to the product multiplied by the current number. And then finally we return the product r that's gonna be holding the product of array except the self number. So for the time complexity it's gonna be O of n because we are iterating over the input array. And for the space complexity it's gonna be O of 1 because the output array does not count as, a, as an extra space for space complexity analysis. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.